how's it going guys? It's Bruce FPV. We're back in business. We've got the drone back up and running. Um, new antenna, new VTX, uh, new camera, run cam 5. I've uh, got some new props on here as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to go and take it out and uh, see how she flies. I did also change a couple of things. So I put air mode on. So before it wasn't on and whenever I was like going zero throttle, it was just flipping out everywhere. Uh, make it a big mess crashing. So um, I'm hoping that's going to fix things. I uh, also increased the VTX um, uh, power, so it was at 25, and I didn't realize that. So I bumped it up to 500, and uh, we're going to see what sort of difference that makes in terms of range and sort of penetration through trees. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the spot, and um, yeah, I'll see you see you in the field. guys how's it going so uh i didn't record a little intro before i came out here but uh yeah i've been flying for it's my fourth pack now got it stuck in a tree crashed it in a puddle but we've got some good footage as well the gopro or well, the run cam's dead now so um just flying for the fun of it and um yeah it's been good 
been a lot of fun so i hope you guys enjoyed the footage and um yeah i'm gonna keep trying to improve and hopefully next time i've got some more stuff to show you so see you later guys bye so i just wanted to show you guys something that happened once i got back to the house i went and tried to charge my lipo batteries put them into storage and uh, plugged them in and as soon as I turned it on, they just started smoking. This um, parallel board just sort of went up in smoke and burnt out the board. Um, and it also destroyed two of my 4S LiPo batteries. Luckily, I was there to see it and um, was able to unplug it and get it out of the house as soon as possible. But you really need to keep your eye on these things because they are so dangerous and you don't think it's going to happen to you, but you know it can happen to anyone. So um, I've actually gone out and purchased a um, ammunition box to keep the the lipos in because they're airtight and the metal they're not going to you know burst into flames and any smoke or anything like that will stay inside it so i definitely recommend getting one you can get them on um, ebay for like 15 bucks or 15 pounds sorry uh so definitely recommend doing that uh now i'm gonna have to buy some more batteries but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time bye